Ye shall not need to fight in this battle. Set yourselves, stand ye still, and see the salvation of the Lord with you, O Judah and Jerusalem. Fear not, nor be dismayed. Tomorrow go out against them, for the Lord will be with you. And Jehoshaphat bowed his head with his face to the ground, and all Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem fell before the Lord, worshipping the Lord. And the Levites of the children of the Kohathites and of the children of the Korhites stood up to praise the Lord God of Israel with a loud voice on high. Israelites, it is important that you understand what is happening on the battlefield. For a long time, you have been conditioned that Jesus Christ is fighting your battles and he has taken all your sins away. Religion is teaching half-truth and by now, everyone should know a half-truth is a complete lie. The Most High fight our battles. The Most High only fight the battles of the righteous, the people who fear him, worship him, and keep his statutes, commandments, and laws. The righteous cry, and the Lord heareth and deliver them out of all their troubles. Just because the Most High is fighting for the righteous, it does not relieve us from our duties. We have a role in our deliverance. We have to trust our Elohim, pray, fast, and repent. Repentance means turning away from the sins that is causing separation between you and the Most High. You cannot say you repent, then turn around and indulge in the same sins that had you bound. That is not repentance. You are only fooling yourself. Yah know your heart. The Most High know when you have truly repented. The Most High cannot be mocked. The heart is deceitful above all things, and desperately wicked. Who can know it? I, the Lord, search the heart. I try the reins even to give every man according to his ways, and according to the fruit of his doings. Israelites, you can fool people with emotions and speech, However, the Most High know what's in your heart. True repentance is when a person completely turns from their iniquities and stops committing the sins that is causing a separation between the Most High and them. The scriptures inform us that the Most High searched the hearts and minds of his people. Yah command us to test the spirits of people around us to see if they bear good fruits. That is how you would be able to know if a person truly repented and is seeking the Most High. If they repented, they will bear good fruits. If they are playing games, in due time their behavior will expose them. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Prayer and fasting is your weapon on the battlefield. When you pray, you are communicating with the Most High. When you fast, that is supersizing your prayers. Fasting is the sacrifice needed to break the strongholds in your life. Fasting also brings the battle to the enemy's doorstep. You are attacking your enemy when you fast. You are not waiting on the enemy to attack you. A serious person who wants deliverance bring the battle to their enemy's door and not wait on their enemies. Religion taught you to trust Jesus and Jesus will handle all your problems. If that were the case, why are people walking around with heavy burdens? In addition, their spirit is caged in the spirit realm. If the Most High were fighting for the people in religion, the people would prosper. There is a place of worship in every corner, yet the people are defeated. The places of worship in religion is truly the house of bondage in disguise. Religion taught you to pray for your enemies. For several generations, our people have been doing just that, praying for their enemies. Israelites are still at the bottom. Your enemies are increasing the attack against you. You cannot serve the Most High in the spirit and in the truth and not advance in your journey. Yah said he has given you power to overcome the entire kingdom of darkness. Where is that power in religion? If you have been in religion for multiple years and you are still spiritually bound, it is time to wake up. The battlefield is not the place to allow the kingdom of darkness to influence you to separate from the Most High. Satan will definitely plant seeds into your mind to discourage you. After a fast, that is when the war begins. You are still on the battlefield. You have to be alert and you have to guard your mind. 
The purpose of the kingdom of darkness planting negative seeds into your mind is to keep you distracted and to weaken your spiritual connection with the Most High. Israelites, when you fast and pray, you gain spiritual strength. The Most High is supporting you and fighting for you. With the support of the Most High, you are strong spiritually and physically. Have you noticed after you pray and fast, you discipline yourself by engaging in activities that will increase the Most High's favor in your life? All of a sudden, your life become extremely busy. If you're not busy with work, your friends and family wants to spend more time with you. Bizarre things starts to take place in your life. When rare and bizarre events starts to happen, that is the kingdom of darkness trying to distract you and stop you from connecting with the Most High. If Satan can keep you busy, he can interrupt your prayer life, make you too tired to read the scriptures and other activities that will increase your strength while you are on the battlefield. When you stop spending time in the most high's presence, this will weaken you spiritually. The scripture said we cannot live by bread alone, but by every word that proceed out of the mouth of the most high. And he humbled thee and suffered thee to hunger and fed thee with manna, which thou knewest not. Neither did thy fathers know, that he might make thee know that man doth not live by bread only, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of the Lord doth man live. Some people are motivated after praying and fasting. As the days and weeks pass by, the positive mindset and determination to receive deliverance slows down. Before the person realizes they are back to the same old routines. Israelites, that is one of the many strategies the kingdom of darkness use against you while you are on the battlefield. If you become weak on the battlefield, your chances of winning the battle is very slim. Most people do not realize that they are still on the battlefield after a fast. Some people believe once the fast is over, the battle ended. The fast was the beginning stage of the battle. What you do after the fast will determine if you win or lose the battle. After you fast, your dream life will increase. Remember, the scripture said, the Most High speak to us in dreams. For God speaketh once, yea, twice, yet man perceiveth it not. In a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falleth upon men, in slumberings upon the bed, then he openeth the ears of men, and sealeth their instruction. The kingdom of darkness imitate the Most High, and Satan will give you wicked dreams. It is through the evil dreams the kingdom of darkness seek to reestablish the broken covenants. While the kingdom of darkness is trying to forge covenants, the Most High is cleansing you from generational curses and spiritual bondage. A lot is happening behind the scenes after a spiritual warfare battle. The kingdom of darkness will take advantage of you if you do not know how to engage in spiritual warfare properly. Many people believe they are not delivered or the Most High is not helping them because they fast wrong or their prayers were not good enough. If you resume the same lifestyle you had after a fast, do not expect change. You cannot repeat the same behaviors and expect a different result. You have to allow the Most High to renew your mind and apply what you have learned during the fast to your life. You cannot go back to doing the same things that kept you in bondage. The Most High heard your prayers. Yah would like to deliver his people. However, when his people are not aware they are on a battlefield, in addition, they are ignorant to Satan's devices, it will appear as if the Most High is not helping. Through their lack of knowledge, they are blocking the Most High from interceding on their behalf. Israelites, it is important that you understand that you are on a battlefield every day and you have to attack your enemies accordingly. Another way the kingdom of darkness attack you on the battlefield is by keeping you operating in negativity. The scripture said, death and life is in the power of the tongue. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. If you maintain a negative mind, eventually you will begin to believe those negative thoughts and speak those negative thoughts into existence. If you believe the kingdom of darkness when an unclean spirit whisper in your mind that the Most High did not receive your fast, on the other hand, your prayers were not heard, that is forging a covenant with the strange voice. The scripture said the Most High sheep will not adhere to the stranger's voice. And a stranger will they not follow, but will flee from him, 
for they know not the voice of strangers. When you are surrounded by negativity, your vessel, your body, becomes a garbage dump for every foul spirit. Just as Babylon the Great, a place that is the habitation for all kinds of devils. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the Great is fallen, is fallen, and is become the habitation of devils, and the hold of every foul spirit, and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. Israelites, do not let your body become a vessel where the kingdom of darkness get comfortable. Operating in negativity gives the kingdom of darkness permission to use you. You want to maintain a positive mind all the time, even if your life is falling apart. Israelites, it is important to stay positive, especially when it appears as if you are losing the battle. When we seek deliverance, we are expecting the Most High to deliver us from our enemies, and we are seeking a blessing as well. A few months back, I engaged in spiritual warfare battle. I was determined to get closer to the Most High. The kingdom of darkness make it their mission to attack you when you are determined to serve the Most High. After my fast, it appeared as if nothing was happening. If your mind is occupied, you will not notice the subtle changes taking place every single day. Slowly, strange and bizarre things started to happen. My life became extremely busy. Everyone wanted my attention. People were trying to pull me in all directions. Some days I was emotional while other days I was angry. Right before the Most High grant me the desires of my heart, the kingdom of darkness threw everything at me. A childhood friend who is demon possessed, however, the world labeled as schizophrenic was contacting me nonstop in the middle of prayer and while I'm trying to complete my work. Observing how my childhood friend is deteriorating before my eyes played on my emotions. Israelites, when you are on the battlefield, this is how the kingdom of darkness attack you. Once I made up my mind not to allow the distractions to keep me down or weaken my spiritual growth, I decided to trust the Most High. When I made up my mind to stand with the Most High and not allow the kingdom of darkness to steal my joy, the Most High granted me the desires of my heart. Israelites, the kingdom of darkness know when the Most High is going to bless you. When the Most High wants to turn your situation around, he will reveal it to you in the spirit realm. Remember, unclean spirits in the kingdom of darkness dwell in the spirit realm. Satan will try to deceive you in the spirit realm by forging evil covenants to intercept your blessings. Most people do not know how the spirit realm operate. Therefore, the kingdom of darkness is successful in stealing their blessings. When they do not see the blessings the Most High gave them, the individual give up or lose trust in the Most High. The truth is, through a lack of knowledge, the kingdom of darkness stole the blessings. The scriptures inform us that a thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy. The thief cometh not but for to steal, and to kill, and to destroy. It is important that you know the words of the Most High to counter the attack. It is good to know of the many promises the Most High made to the righteous. Although the kingdom of darkness come to steal, kill, and destroy, the Most High said, when a thief is caught, he must repay you sevenfold plus the substance of his house. Men do not despise a thief if he steal to satisfy his soul when he is hungry. But if he be found, he shall restore sevenfold. He shall give all the substance of his house. When you know the word, you will know how to counter the attack and take back what was stolen from you. Just because Satan stole your blessings, it does not conclude your blessings is gone forever. The scriptures inform us that the Most High will give us the years the locust have eaten. And I will restore to you the years that the locust hath eaten, the canker worm and the caterpillar and the palmer worm, my great army which I sent among you. Some people will misinterpret Joel 2 and 25. They will mistake canker worms and locusts with the physical locusts and worms they see. In addition, because they never saw a canker worm or a locust in the spirit realm, this promise do not apply to them. This is why it is important to have the Holy Spirit to reveal truth to you and tell you the things to come. Locusts in the scriptures symbolize pestilence. The Most High used locusts to destroy the crops in the land of Mizraim when Pharaoh refused to let his people go. And Moses and Aaron came in unto Pharaoh and said unto him, 
Thus saith the Lord God of the Hebrews, How long wilt thou refuse to humble thyself before me? Let my people go, that they may serve me. Else, if thou refuse to let my people go, behold, tomorrow will I bring the locusts into thy coast, and they shall cover the face of the earth, that one cannot be able to see the earth, and they shall eat the residue of that which is escaped, which remaineth unto you from the hail, and shall eat every tree which groweth for you out of the field. And they shall fill thy houses, and the houses of all thy servants, and the houses of all the Egyptians, which neither thy fathers nor thy fathers' fathers have seen, since the day that they were upon the earth unto this day. And he turned himself, and went out from Pharaoh. The Most High speak to you in symbols in the spirit realm. Animals in a dream symbolizes spirits. Remember, spirits are disembodied. Therefore, unclean spirits masquerade in the form of animals and familiar faces in the spirit realm. Animal dreams are witchcraft related. When you have the ability with the guidance of the Holy Spirit to decode the symbols in the spirit realm, the kingdom of darkness will not succeed in your life. Satan will give you a hard time. However, he will not triumphant over you. Always remember the kingdom of darkness purpose is to still kill and destroy. The kingdom of darkness is not looking to bless you. Satan will try to irritate you to get you mad. As a result, you will take matters into your own hands. If he is successful in getting you to operate in the flesh, he can steal your blessings. The flesh is Satan's territory. When you operate in the flesh, you do not have the assistance of the Most High. The spirit and the flesh clash. For the flesh lusteth against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary the one to the other, so that ye cannot do the things that ye would. The kingdom of darkness want you to become frustrated. Frustration occur when you try to accomplish what only the Most High can do. Israelites, it is important when you are on the battlefield to focus on what you can control. Do not try to bless yourself or perform your own miracles. If you ask the Most High for help, allow him to help you. It is important to wait on the Most High to do what you ask of Him. Do not try to rush the blessing. If the Most High have not respond, you are not ready or there is a necessary delay. Wait on the Most High. When you seek deliverance elsewhere, you give room to the kingdom of darkness to confuse you and to steal from you. The Most High can respond swiftly or He can take years to grant you the desires of your heart. The important thing to remember is to focus on what you can control. Many Israelites make the mistake of giving up right before the Most High is about to change their situation. Do not allow the kingdom of darkness to cause you to wave the white flag. Do not surrender to the kingdom of darkness. Greater is he that's in you than he that's in this world. Year of God, little children, and I've overcome them because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Other strategies the kingdom of darkness use against you on the battlefield is to play with your emotions. A person who cannot control their emotions are double-minded and the kingdom of darkness gain the ability to toss them back and forth. The scripture said a double-minded person is unstable in all that they do. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Israelites, do not make life-changing decisions when you are emotional. Emotions will cause you to make terrible decisions. The kingdom of darkness will play with your emotions to get you to lose your focus on the battlefield. Israelites, it is important not to involve yourself in other people's battles, especially if they do not have a repented heart. The kingdom of darkness will use other Israelites to cause you to stumble and to drain your energy. You need your energy to vibe on the same level with the Most High. The reason the kingdom of darkness want to drain your energy, you have become too powerful on the battlefield. Satan will send unclean spirits to forge covenants with you in the spirit realm to drain your energy. Dreams that indicate the enemy want to drain your energy. Dreams where you see yourself breastfeeding a baby. Dreams where you are eating feces. Dreams you are engaged in sexual acts. Dreams where you are running around and you never get to your destination. All of these dreams are designed to drain your energy. Remember to break the covenants. Israelites, I know you want to help your family and friends, and I know you want to see your friends and family saved. You cannot fight other people's battles for them. The scripture said we have to work out our own salvation with fear and trembling. 
Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Your friends and family have to make the decision to fight for themselves. Pray for them if the Most High leads you to pray. Do not try to take on their battles. The kingdom of darkness will use the sinners around you to cause you to stumble on the battlefield. You need all of your energy. The Most High is the one delivering you. You are not delivering yourself. Likewise, your friends and family need the Most High to deliver them. Many Israelites are disarmed because they relied on religion to do all the work for them. The Most High gave his people all the tools they need to find success in the awakening. They have to make the decision to seek deliverance. On the battlefield, the Most High is fighting for you. In order for the Most High to fight for the righteous, the individual have to stay positive and draw near to the Most High. That is the only way you will be successful on the battlefield. The army that is marching with you is more powerful than any army of flesh in the kingdom of darkness. Israelites do not mistake the spiritual warfare battlefield with the physical battlefield the synagogue of Satan program into your mind. Although we have flesh and many of our enemies are in the flesh, we do not wage war with the flesh. Although we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. Do not confuse the battlefield the heathen nations use to wage war with a spiritual battlefield. The heathen's battlefield is flooded with guns, bombs, and an army of flesh. The battlefield I speak of is spiritual. You do not want to respond with guns, bombs, and leaders that are in the flesh. None of these things can help you when your enemy is spirit. The scripture said, if you live by the sword, you will die by the sword. Then said Jesus unto him, Put up again thy sword into his place, for all they that take the sword shall perish with the sword. The purpose of spiritual warfare is to find deliverance and to be blessed. When you are on the battlefield, you want to stay positive. You want to uphold the statutes and commandments of the Most High by any means necessary. By doing this, it gives the Most High the opportunity to fight for you and bless you. Israelites, you have to be aware that you are on a battlefield, especially after you seek deliverance and engage in spiritual warfare. The kingdom of darkness used distractions, negative mind, your close friends and family to overpower you on the battlefield. You must make it your duty to understand how the kingdom of darkness operates to find success on your journey. Religion made you rely on an idol to save you. That idol has done nothing for our people. The purpose of that idol was to disarm you. Israelites, put your trust in the Most High. Only the Most High can redeem you. As long as the Most High is for you, you will win every single battle. Then said David to the Philistine, Thou comest to me with a sword and with a spear and with a shield. But I come to thee in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom thou hast defied. This day will the Lord deliver thee into mine hand, and I will smite thee and take thine head from thee. And I will give the carcasses of the host of the Philistines this day unto the fowls of the air and to the wild beasts of the earth, that all the earth may know that there is a God in Israel. And all this assembly shall know that the Lord saveth not with sword and spear, for the battle is the Lord's, and he will give you into our hands.